My name is Brent Mischler. I'm a professor at UC Berkeley, and I'm one of the biocode team for plants. A particular area of plants that I'm working on are the bryophytes, which are the mosses and ferns and hornworts. And we are trying to collect every taxon on Norea a number of times. And we're making specimens, which I'll show you. And we're segregating material to extract DNA from. Yes, well, what I'm collecting right here is a strange little moss called Octobleferum. It's one of well more than a hundred mosses that occur on Morea. We don't know exactly how many. They occur either on tree bark, as we have several here, or as we were collecting a minute ago, down on rocks, such as we see right down here. The mosses are particular to particular substrates. They care about which tree they grow on, or whether they grow on a rock instead of a tree, or whether they grow on soil. So they're very sensitive to the kind of substrate they're on. Uh, another thing they're, subs they're very sensitive to is water. They are very simple plants, very thin leaves, they don't have roots, they take their water directly in from the rain, and so they are very sensitive to their elevation and how much water they get. This is actually one of the things most interesting about moss biology is they have the ability to dry up completely and come back to life again when you add water. That's what we call desiccation tolerance. And the molecular biology of desiccation tolerance is something which has been studied very heavily actually in these mosses. So if we look over here, we'll see some mosses and little warts that are collected fresh many different kinds. There are several hundred uh, bryophytes on the ranch. So the first step is to dry them out. Their data about where they were collected is written on the field collections, such as we just made out in the field. And then the data is transferred into a database so we can keep all the information about where the plants were collected and, and uh, so forth. We also have pictures of each one. And then we're separating out plant or animal material, depending on the group that the person's working on, uh, into small tubes for storage and even smaller wells for automatic DNA sequencing. One of the difficulties with these small plants is that they grow mixed together in the same uh, environment. So what we're doing here is we're using the microscope to separate the different species and uh, be sure that we sample them independently for their DNA sequence. So if we look at a typical clump of mosses here from a very high elevation, this is from near the top of Mount Tokia, which is the highest point on Morea and we look at them up close as being projected on this monitor here, we can see that there are several different species all mixed together. We have this very large moss. We have this slightly smaller moss right here. We have a little liverwort that's mixed in right here. We have another little liverwort that's growing up this moss. One of the issues is that plants often grow on top of other plants as their substrate. So this was growing on a tree fern. So these plants were growing first on a tree fern, and we collected those, and then they have the smaller plants are growing on them. So there are several orders of epiphytism, which means growing on plants. And our uh, job here is to try to separate these all out into separate packets and separate tubes for sequencing. 